you go around and measure dental offices, you will find that um, using one of the highest standards in the world, uh, the last measurement I saw was 14% of them were above the time-weighted average of 50 parts per million. But wait a minute, that's, that's for the eight hour a day standard. What if you work 12 hours? Well, then you're gonna to have to cut it back down. What if you're not an employee? You can't be in there. The EPA standard for the air we breathe is 0.3. If you're a worker, like for instance, if you drive a gasoline truck, you get paid a handsome salary to drive something that blows up. So if you want to take a job in the hazardous waste industry where you're exposed to high levels of mercury, sure, they can do that. But you're supposed to be paid more for risking your life and limb. And two, the employer is obligated by law that when it's reasonable to assume exposure is likely, they shall furnish protective equipment, monitor the facility, and uh, institute engineering controls to remove that source of injury. And you go to ask any dental school, they have no idea what level of mercury their students are being exposed to. A student is not an employee. Therefore, OSHA doesn't apply to students. Students must be protected by EPA, and that's 0.3. That means they can't be in the student lab doing fillings. They can't be in the clinic doing fillings because the levels are above that. And so if we just enforce the laws that are meant to protect our students, every dental school in the United States would stop teaching amalgam. The most recent survey of dental schools worldwide found that 63% of them no longer teach the use of mercury at all. However, the most recent survey of the dental schools in the United States found that 100% of them teach the use of amalgam. I think there's a problem here with 63% of the dental schools saying no and the only country in the world saying, yeah, 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 it's a good idea. That's because we have a trade association that controls the dental boards, controls dental licensure, and controls the FDA. So one professor I talked to at the dental school said the only reason they still teach dentists to use mercury is so that they can pass the licensure examination. Oh, I see. So let's see how that goes. We're gonna teach you how to use this terribly toxic material. Hold your breath because it's really poisonous. And the only time you're gonna to have to use this is to prove to the state that you know how to poison people with mercury. After that, you can go ahead and do what the patient wants, which is use something that's non-toxic. 